Hey guys, this is Richard from Welsh Tech. This is my next video. This is me taking a look at the GH30 V2 gaming headset from MSI. Big thank you to MSI for sending these over to have a look at. Now, what I will say is I've done a microphone test and the microphone sounds incredible. For something that's detachable, it, wow. I was even shocked with it. It's detachable and there was no static, there was no static no interference it sounded really really good oh, but there's one problem can you see the problem these are literally too big for my head so the last set of headphones I had were too small and these ones are way too big I mean ah see but all, what you get included is obviously this little adapter here, it, it just ta it attaches, you attach this cable to that and then you just split it off to the headset and then the microphone itself. So as you can see it's like a blacked out aesthetic, got this little bit of padding but here obviously it does that, it does extend out. There, so then you can put them away because it does come with this little bag that you can put it in. Very long cable, you know, I wish it had a cable type, this is an E-Technics one. Uh, it's got the dragon on it, but there, that side, and that side, it's got really nice comfortable padding, except it's kind of out there because it doesn't exactly fit my head properly. See? So it doesn't exactly <laughs> fit my head properly, but overall, wow, the microphone sounds fantastic, and believe it or not, the actual sound coming out of these, these these headphones, wow! They're just clear and crisp. Didn't have to adjust anything. Well, I'm, I had to adjust the volume a little, but wow! They were so clear, I just could not believe it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the mic test for you right here, and then I will put up against like the AOC headphones, the uh, the. Five fine ones and the height ones. So continue to watch. How to enable XMP. How to enable XMP. How to enable XMP. How to enable XMP. Right, so you had to uh, hear the microphone. Wow, it sounds incredible. That the microphone I did have to adjust a little at the tuner up a little because you barely heard it when I was uh, doing the the sound back to it because obviously I was using these to hear it back and I was like wow I used them to uh, watch a film and no games obviously but headphones you will hear better with watching a movie than games because games has got all different types of sounds but with a movie it's very straightforward and wow it felt like i was j well uh, overall except for the fit obviously they're a little bit big but if these snuck st st just a little bit more like about by there these be perfect because they sound really crystal clear and i like the aesthetics obviously the over black and because i am welsh msi and welshy tech do use the dragon and Overall, wow, I'm just really impressed. The, obviously, the presentation of the box looks nice. You do get the manual as well as this little duffel bag or this little pouch thing that you can just go like this and you go like this and you go like that and then you go like that and then you just shove them in that little bag. But obviously, the cable isn't detachable, but that's just another thing. But overall, wow, I, I, oh, I can't believe it. Wow, first headset I've looked at from MSI and wow. The microphone blew me away, but the head, the actual headphones themselves, wow, they sound very, very nice. So, what I've got coming next is the, the GK30 gaming keyboard and mouse combo. That will be next week, and we'll have a look at that, because I'm having a bit of problems with my uh, test bench at the moment, so I've got to wait until I can get a part to come. I have reached out to MSI, but unfortunately they can't help me. But that's just one of them things. Overall, though, this headset sounds fantastic. I am a bit gutted with the size. You know, it's a little bit wide. I mean, wow. Just... Wow. 
Sorry about that. But overall, good pair of a uh, good headset. They are around the thirty-three to thirty-five pound mark, so not bad. They're up there with the AOC headphones, but then the AOC headphones did feel a little bit better, and the AOC headphones didn't feel plasticky. They actually had a metal frame, and but overall, not bad for cheap headphones. So if you're looking for a pair of headphones just for to play the PlayStation or just use on a laptop or something. These are definitely worth a go because they sound incredible and the microphone sounds great as well. So, this is Richard from Wild Sheet Tech. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and also don't forget to check me out on my other social media. This is Richard from Wild Sheet Tech. Goodbye.